All right. Uh, let me show you how to set up um, the control panel for NVIDIA. Because apparently I see this uh, this type of question everywhere. So everybody is complaining the about the performance in the notebook or in his computer. And apparently nobody managed to understand it. Okay. First things first, this is my... Um, this is my video card that I have in the PC now. I need to swap it soon, but apparently I have a lot of games that I want to test. So uh, my my all time favorite video card after 480 is the GTX 590. Yes. OK, so what you need to do if you are an NVIDIA user, right click NVIDIA control panel. If you don't have the control panel, then you need to install either the original drivers either the brand new drivers that are on NVIDIA website. So you come here on manage 3D uh, settings and we'll start modifying because I left it automatically. So uh, because the video card is good. So I don't need an adjustment on the panel in order for me to gain a couple of frames per second. Even though like this, the video card acts perfectly. But apparently somebody, let me see, somebody on uh, YouTube uh, apparently asked me about something. And uh, he's got a 710M and uh, he was playing uh, Fallout 4. All right, Fedia F. If you see this, this is for you. Apparently I made this. but. Maybe somebody else will uh, need this type of uh, settings to improve their settings in a computer. So if, of course, if you are an NVIDIA user. Okay, you come here in manage 3D settings and we start uh, disabling and uh, I can guarantee you gain a few frames per seconds. Not tens or hundreds of frames per seconds, a couple of frames. In the game okay so ambient occlusion performance antistropic of of gamma correction of anti-aliasing mode of non gpu we leave that alone uh dsr factor i don't know what's this i never saw it apparently it came with this one only uh maxim pre-render frames I will leave the application because uh, I never saw something like this. But I only saw in Heroes of New York, but uh, pre-render the frames. But I will leave the single GPU, uh, multi-GPU render performance. Force alternative frame render one. Okay, I can actually leave it for one, but it's still the same. I'm not using two monitors, so I can put it with single... Uh, with single performance, apparently my tablet is uh, power management mode, max performance. We are not interested because it's not a notebook. Shadow cache off, off, texture uh, filtering, clamp, quality, high performance, uh, filtering off, optimization off. This is the most important thing. Apparently, if you are running Fallout 4 and um, if you see your frames per seconds are 60 frames, you come here, you disable uh, vertical sync and you're good to go. Yes. And that's it. You apply. You apply. Yes. And you're done. And that's it. And I can guarantee you. Uh, you will gain a couple of frames per second more. Not a lot, not a lot, but uh, just that amount of frames so you can reach 24. That is minimum, re my opinion, minimum required for you to enjoy the game. My opinion is 30 frames, but when if you reach 30 frames, then you're golden. That is the playable... Uh, playable frames that you can have to have a nice decent uh, gameplay okay Fedia see you next time and uh, don't forget uh, uh, to like the video because it's well done just for you yes and uh, if somebody managed to improve the settings 
with this type of settings, uh, their frame rate, don't don't forget to leave a comment. You know, with what type of frame rate you, you how many frames you had before and after the uh, after the settings was done after those settings were done in the control panel, how much did you gain? Because it's, I'm actually curious, you know? So, before and after. Leave a comment, like, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.